this simple and super delicious masala soup will also make your day. Please keep watching in case you want to know how I made the masala soup. Hello guys, how are you all doing? So the protein of my choice for this soup is chicken and catfish, the dried one to be precise. Now in a clean pot, I just transferred the chicken and added some onions, some seasoned cube, some salt and the catfish. I almost forgot it. <laughs> Next, I added some crushed pepper and I'll go ahead and mix it together so that all of them will be combined. And after that, I added some water, then cover it to cook. After some minutes, I checked and the chicken was 60% cooked. I then transferred my already peeled yam inside the pot. Though I've already removed the dried fish from the pot off camera so it doesn't overcook. Next, I added extra water. I covered and allowed it to reach a boil. Now it has reached a boil and I added some crushed pepper, some blended crayfish and I gave it a mix. Next, I added some ogiri, just a little amount of it. Next, I added my blended oda seed, blended ozaza seed and my blended ehuru seed, which is also known as calabash nutmeg. I then gave them a mix and covered to continue cooking. Then after 15 minutes, I checked again and the yam was properly cooked. I gave the pot a mix and scooped the yam from the pot so that I can pound it to add to the soup. There's no salad soup without yam paste. Then I reintroduced my dry fish to the pot. I then gave it a gentle stir and added enough water that will be enough for me to cook the soup. Added some seasoned cube and some salt. I gave it another stir so that everything will be combined. Now you want to taste it to make sure that everything is okay. Then I covered to continue cooking. After some minutes, I opened the pot again and transferred my pounded yam. Like I said, there is no unsala soup without yam. Next, I added my reserved crayfish and I gave it a good mix. Unsala soup is also known as white soup and is a local delicacy from the eastern part of Nigeria. So after adding the yam paste, I covered the pot again to continue cooking. Now the yam is properly dissolved and the soup was looking good. I then gave it a good stir. Next, I transferred my shredded otaza leaves. This leaves is optional in Ofen Sala but I love using it. Then I gave it a stir and added my shredded ozuza leaves. I don't think there is any delicious oven salad without ozuza leaves because ozuza leaves make your salad soup very flavorful and very delicious. Then I gave it another good stir and our salad soup was ready. Look at the soup guys. You can serve this with any swallow of your choice. Your pounded yam, your wheat, any swallow you can think of. Trust me guys, this soup was so delicious. You can overfeed yourself with insala soup if you don't take time. <laughs> insala soup is not meant to be thick. It's a light soup. And you can cook it with any protein of your choice. Your catfish and so on. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.